All right, today we're gonna be ranking the top 10 most iconic Nike sneakers of all time. I literally don't even know what to say. This is about to be the most controversial video on your channel. We picked out some shoes that I got from my collection. I feel like I have the majority of the iconic sneakers out right. there. It's just tough because to say Nike is like to say everything in the sports world. Right. And everybody is different. Every single person is mm -hmm. different. Every single generation is mm -hmm. different. Every single, what they do, the sport, the shoes that they like. Nike is so big. Yeah. I mean, okay, so tell have? them what we gotta do. Cause we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We're gonna eliminate eight, sneakers eight shoes first, right off the bat. And then rank them. And then get to the top 10. Right off the bat, bro, I know that like the older cats are gonna be going crazy at me, but I have no idea what this shoe is. What? And I have no idea what this shoe is. <laughs> I'm not what? even gonna lie to you guys. Like I got into the sneaker game in high school. I was born in 1998. And I have no idea what these are. I've never okay. heard anybody talk about them. I think this is why we got you on the channel. Let's go as well. over. Let's go over this one right here. The right Nike now. Trainer One. Uh, this in particular is the 112 colorway, but we're not going colorways. Okay. We're going models. The Nike. What Trainer makes one. this shoe so special that you decided to include it on Bro, this video? Nike Trainer One. Just the era, the athletes that wore the shoe. You name it. All the different things that go along with this shoe. It's hard to not put this on the list. And out of training shoes, I think this might be the. Is this the only one? Don't look at me. I have no idea what we're talking about. I think though. this is the only okay. trainer. And tell me what's so special about this one. Okay, the airships. I feel like because of the resale value and all the other things that go along with it, I could see why we don't put this on the list. Right. And I feel like they trying to bring energy to the shoe right now. Okay. But not everybody was going after airships. To air me, ships. it looks like a, bro, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to sound disrespectful, but like as a consumer, I feel like Marshalls, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, well, okay. That's what I'm saying. I can understand why we take it off the list just because like the OG collectors, they uh, would go after this now yeah. and all that, but I don't, people wasn't talking about airships, you know, right. seven years ago, 10 years okay. ago, 12 years ago. I like, think what we got to do, bro, is out of these two, which one needs to come off the list, first of all? Airship. Okay. I'll say airship. Take the airship off. Goodbye to the airship. See you later. Sorry, but you got to go. Okay. okay. What else we got? Now you, okay, you eliminated one. Monarch, I, uh, for me. It's the me, Monarch, bro. I don't know too much about the history. That's the thing. To me, the Monarch in today's is like the dad shoe. It's like the meme shoe. It's always been that. But why would it be iconic for the top 10? Because it makes it so iconic There's so much more greatness, though. But you think about trainers. Iconic trainer. Iconic dad shoe. Iconic. You know what I'm saying? Like, they all have their different... Reason okay, between the trainer and the dad shoe, which one are you are you letting go of? Why are we comparing everything to the trainer? You really I just I just that. don't know what these are, bro. Like, <laughs> oh to me, okay. I think like okay, to me, I think like, uh, dude, and, and I'm saying this in a non-biased, <clears throat> non-offensive way to sneakerheads. Okay, but when my, I was young, I could not afford any shoes. Okay, this is something that my mom's like, okay, we're going to shoe carnival. You have fifty dollars to get a pair of shoes right, for the school year, okay. and I envision that this is what I'm seeing in there. You yeah. know what I mean? Like this is what I had to choose from as a kid. I did not have any of this heat. Okay. How about this? We gotta start eliminating let's, them, DJ. Let's, okay, let's, let's, let's say what way. we're not eliminating. That's just about to say, let's do it right. that way. Let's pick five shoes we're not gonna this eliminate. This sneaker right here changed the game forever for sneakerheads. Yep. When this shoe came out, everybody went crazy. Could you make the argument that without this shoe, Jordans would have died down by now? Jordan, oh, we. Because this really, flamed up everybody yeah. for sneakers. It was crazy how like the Red Octobers came out in particular and every single brand made a red shoe right. after that. Right. The following two years, three years, like every brand did an all red shoe. Do you think that Kanye in a way saved Jordan? Sheesh. Or do you think Jordan would have still had the full momentum that it had today without them dropping the shoe and without Kanye West's um, you know. The question is, did you <laughs> really jump over jump, man? No, but <laughs> okay. uh, we gotta right, keep right. the shoe. We gotta we'll keep talk the about shoe. that one Regardless, later. we gotta so, keep the shoe. All right, so we'll keep, keep okay. it over here. We're, we're Dude, you know, I love- We it. have to keep the mag. Bro, I mean, here's the thing. We have to, to keep me, the mag. To me, okay, I understand what you're saying about the mag. To me, though, the mag is a sneakerhead's grail. Or a movie lover from the 80s grill. So but, many different reasons why. But, but is it in the general population? We we may okay, not yeah, okay, rank fine. it high, but we can't take it off the fine. list. We already got one Kanye on there. I think it's safe to say that the Air Yeezy one mm. has to go, even though this did technically change yes. the game. Okay, all right, let's keep it on. So, uh, this is so hard. Cortez. 
Bro, we cannot take the dude. Forrest Gump? Are you kidding me? You cannot take the Cortez off. You cannot off. take the Cortez off. Even though I would never rock him, bro, this is history. Okay. Keep it on there. All right, all right, all right, all right. This one I want to take off, but I, I, can we say iconic though? I don't think so. And this is why I feel that way. I feel like, yeah, it's something that's affordable people can wear, but the Blazers. I'm not a fan of the Blazers. Blazers had a revamp recently because I feel They've like had as gym culture, as gym culture is like becoming huge, all the uh, weightlifters are, are rocking the Especially Blazers this, to the gym. This was the ultimate TikTok shoe back in the day. But I, as I, in a couple years ago, if somebody that's 80 years old is watching, we're gonna get flamed. But I agree. Let's take it off. Take the Blazers. <laughs> I, mean, Blazers I don't iconic, like the Blazers, like, bro. And if I did Blazers versus Air Max One or Air Max Ninety, you know what I'm saying, like. It's Let's talk to... about that. We can't have both Air Maxes on. We there. can't have both Air Maxes. I don't think we can have both Air Maxes, bro. Wow. And to me, I mean, bro, you know way more about sneakers than I am. I do, but to me, I feel like this is more of an iconic shoe than the one is. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like the one is more iconic than the ninety. You got to get rid of the Air Max. To me, when 90. I think of Air Max, I think of the Air Max ninety. Okay. Like. I don't think of the Air Max one. I didn't even know that the Air I feel like because the 90 was more obtainable than the one. Okay. But it was the first Air Max. We'll leave it. All right, we'll leave it. Okay. What else um, we got? Phone posits. Penny phone posits. Great shoe. Very good back in the day. Gotta be off the table. No way. No? Phone posits you're leaving on? If it wasn't for... Not only is this one of base... If, bro, these are the Jordans of Nike basketball. Bro, I just feel like you're thinking about your generation. My era, my time. Right. Bro, I'm telling you right now. This Cause we logo, gotta, you gotta think of like from Nike's. The logo, the commercials, the shoes, the this, the that, the other, like okay, who else but can for, sell? Well, okay, I want you to think about the overall picture though. We're thinking about from Nike's yes, beginning yes, to now. Yes. You're saying the phone posit is top 10. In sneaker culture? I think we're doing it. Out of everything. Yeah, out of everything, most iconic? Yeah. Yes, phone posit. All right, well then I give I'd you. rather okay. debate. Okay, okay, I'd okay, rather okay, okay. SBs versus regular dunks. Sure, that's easy. Take the SBs out. We know that. Uh, mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, yeah, because this is, because I'm thinking right now with these, I'm thinking nowadays, like the kids are going crazy about these, but overall impact of all time. But, 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 dunks, I feel like high top dunks from back in the day was the move. Okay. And then dunks became dope in the low tops because of SBs. I just think it's so, fair. I think we have to remove these um, because dude, I mean, we don't have like, talking skateboarding. Like, why is it fair that we leave a skateboard shoe on here, but we don't have a running shoe. We don't have a tennis, like, you know what I mean? This is Air Max, this is running. We I got training, so. we got basketball, we, we got a lifestyle. This we is have, a, we Air have, Force One was a basketball shoe. We don't have a football shoe, we don't have a soccer cleat, like, you know what I mean? Nah, 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 we're talking about shoes. Shoes. But you know what I'm saying though, like. So basically we're gonna get rid of the dunks and keep the SBs. I mean, okay, 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 listen to this, listen yeah, to this. You wanna do. Listen to this. I don't, I, I'm so listen like, this, bro, bro, I do. Listen, to, hear me out, hear me bro. out. There's more iconic SBs than there are dunks. Okay, okay, okay. I trust you. You get what I'm saying, though? I trust you. No, you I don't. Saying? I really, okay. That's what I'm saying. You're a history major in Press sneakers. Press those. Up tempos. Bruh. Nah. You can't get rid of neither them. one. Of, we don't. We can't get rid of neither. You don't think so? Okay, not off white Prestos, but Prestos in general, to me, one of my favorite, most comfy shoes out there. I love the Prestos. The up tempos, bruh. 90s, 2000s, 2020s. Well, this video is too hard to make. Let's just. Let's just call it a day. No, bro. I we just, gotta because, figure bro, it I'm out. I'm thinking because what we I'm gotta thinking get now, shoes, bro. what I'm thinking now, and I don't even want to go there. We have three basketball shoes on here. Okay. We have three basketball. This is a basketball shoe. On here. Four basketball sneakers on here. This is a basketball shoe. Was it really, bro? The Air Force One was a basketball shoe. Are you serious? Yeah. I had no idea. That's crazy. Okay, but realistically, I mean, we have four basketball shoes. Would we put four basketball sneakers in the top 10? I don't think we worry about what's in the top 10 based off of like, oh, X amount of basketball shoes. I think we think of the most iconic things. We think of South Beach LeBron 8, the impact on the culture, LeBron sneakers in general. Some people consider this to be the greatest LeBron sneaker of all time. We could have put the LeBron Zoom Generation 1 in there. We could have had other models in there. This is not most innovative. This is most iconic shoes. The moment that this, especially this colorway in particular, 
The golden era, these were in the golden era of Nike basketball. Think about it. I think if anything, we get rid of the dad shoes. Yeezy one versus Yeezy two. I say Yeezy two. Okay, I'm with you. I think we don't put both. I'm with you on that because I think like, yeah, it was Kanye's first, but I think it's like, that yeah. shoe is what made Kevin okay. Hart have a shoe. Okay, okay. So, Cause, we got that. Because if this, like, if that would have, like, if this would have been okay and then that would have been a flop, we may not have seen it. Right. But because that wasn't a flop. Okay. Okay. All right. We're down to the final 12. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button because we are struggling right now. Did you just get rid of the trader one? But I don't know what these are, bro. All right, all right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> that, maybe it's just my bias. That's crazy. Dog, I've never seen those. That's I'm crazy. sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's I just, crazy. I've never seen them. Okay. All right, let's get real. Let's get real okay. down and dirty right now. So, eliminate the press, though. I think you could, bro. I think there's a lot of people that still don't know about the Prestos, bro. Like, realistically. I think there's truly a lot of people that don't know about the Prestos. Okay. Least favorite then, number what, 10. What's, yeah, what's like the bottom three? For Cortez. me, for me, it would Cortez. be. No. What? For me, bottom three is these three. The mag, uh -huh. the phone posit, yep. the, the, okay, okay. To me, like, I, the okay. mag is like the grail of all grails, right? Let's talk about the mag for a little okay. bit. Mag is the grail of all grails. Um. But what? Dream sneaker. But in the overall community, like, I feel like there's other grails out there too. Like, think about the Louis Vuitton That's Air, Air Force, Force One, though. That's Air Force One. That's true. That's true. That's, That's Air true. Force One. Yeah, the Mac is its own shoe, <laughs> which is crazy. Crazy, bro. Yeah, because bro. every other grail is like Jordan Ford, Travis Scott, friends and family. Like, yeah. Every other grail is a sneaker, but the mag is its own sneaker silhouette. It's in its own lane, bro. Right. Right. Uh, but, but we're going so most iconic. Like, but so, it, I mean, yeah. Okay. All right. What's your bottom three? And we'll figure this out. Bottom three? Yep. I say SBs. Mm -hmm. Air Force One, top three. Of course. Top three. Of course. It has to be. Like, if anybody doesn't think it's top three, they're tripping. Foam posit? Yep, I think foam's next. Air Max 1. Because right now we're talking about top 5. So this shoe does not make top 5. This next shoe does not make top 5. I think the Air Max 1 goes right behind the Air Force 1, but above the mags. I almost feel like, for me, I would squeeze these in somewhere and take the mag out. Okay, so move the mag out. I'll squeeze these in somewhere here. Okay, okay, hold on. This is where we might have a problem. The foam posit, to me, is is right on line with the Kobe 6, but the LeBron 8 is behind the foam posit. Go ahead. You think that? Yeah. So like, if we go here, here. Sure. And then I say, SB's LeBron 8. LeBron does not make the top five, and I'm okay with that. Okay, but does SB's go over LeBron 8? No. I think that's a big stab at the SB community, especially. Okay, then switch it, bro. I don't You're know. You're putting me on blast right now, <laughs> Alright, put it then. Put it, but I'm just saying, I but love this, the, these are these are crazy, bro. Bro, I only rock Supras before I rock Nike. So I love skateboarding shoes. But I'm saying, how are we gonna be uh blessed with the with the skateboard community if we're not putting the te the tennis community? If we're not putting the running community, if we're not putting the football community, if we're not pulling like bruh, bruh, the bruh, weightlifting bruh. community. You know what I mean? Skateboarding is a sport at the end of the day. Most iconic, yeah. Alright, alright. I'm hearing you out. Okay, we're gonna put the Cortez above the SB. Look, here's what I'm doing. I can tell you what I'm doing right now because we're already getting close to the end. I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay. Easy two at number three. Mag at last. Yeah, dude, I I love mags. Mags are my favorite sneaker ever. Like that is my grail. This is the shoe that everybody but, asks. But do you have the mags? Do you have the mags? Do you have the mags? Like this shoe, to me, number 10 on the most iconic Nikes with these. I just, okay, okay, like okay. no hype aside, no, like not dollar <clears throat> value. Like it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. We There's no way you can put the up tempos above the mags. Okay, if we talk about cars, right? Are you putting a Bugatti in the top 10 cars ever made? I don't like the Bugatti at all. It's expensive. Right? It's iconic. Mm-hmm. 
you put your hands up then. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I just feel like you're being a hype beast right now, dude. Top three. Top three? Top three, what do you think of the top three right now? I'm not gonna lie, I can give you the top three. I'm a little bit not educated enough to talk about the rest though. Okay. I, I stand solid with the top three. Like I'm firm on the top three, but I need your help. I don't help know though, that. I feel like the... <sighs> what would you switch this with? Don't tell me the Mac. Do not tell me that you're gonna switch it with the no, Mac. No, I just think about, I also think about the phone posit in the Kobe 6. Like the impact it's had. All I'm saying Maybe. is, all I'm saying is the vast majority of people did not hear about it until this shoe dropped. This shoe changed the game, a hundred percent. I feel like all these shoes are icons in their own ways. Can we, can we do a little, just a final, final recoup? Let yes. Me just, let me just do it, please. Let do me, what, you, do what you want, let and me, then let me, sure. let me get the mag to like move it up a little bit to right here, okay? Can I say that the SB is more iconic than the Cortez, has a bigger impact on the sneaker community and everything than the Cortez? I think so. To me, I think a lot followed the Cortez though. To me, I think this is like the grandfather of everything we're looking okay. at Okay, right you went to sneaker con. How many people were wearing Cortezes? How many people had shoes at the, out on their booth with Cortezes? How many people was even talking about the Cortezes? Bro, that's like- Do even the young kids even know what the Cortez is? That's like saying who's driving the first Corvette, you know? Nobody's still driving the first Corvette, but <laughs> it's paved the way for a lot. You know what I mean? Like, So we'll just put that right here. This is like the original Tesla, right? It innovated and I don't know what I'm talking about here. Yeah, all right, give me that. We're gonna put that there. Okay, okay, all right, here we go. Final result. You're moving it up over the <laughs> You're moving the mag up. Bro, the only, ugh, dude, I, I don't want to seem like I'm a mag hater. I literally okay. dressed up all right, all right, like all right, Marty all right, McFly. Right. But over Braun, over the billionaire, over the billion, like over the building that Nike has, did, did Nike make a building for this right here? Did my, Nike dedicate an entire building to the innovation okay. of the airmen? All right, all right, okay. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Just cause you went to the LeBron building for the first time, <laughs> you out here just, <laughs> Bro, all like right. they have. Here we go, number 10. <laughs> Nike Air More Up Tempo. Number sure, 10. Sure. Number nine. Nike Cortez. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. We solid with that? Let's Number nine. It. Mama said, yep. Number eight. Nike SB Dunk Low. Number eight, most iconic. Number seven. Crazy. Nike Mag. Number six. Braun. LeBron king. eight. The king. South Beach colorway, insane. Number five, Penny Phone Posit One. I still think it's above the Kobe, but we'll go with it. I don't know, man. When it's I... had a longer impact on the, co on the okay, community. Okay, okay. But this had a huge impact on innovation in, in the community as well. Number four, Kobe Six. Number three, Nike Air Yeezy Two. Huge impact. Number two, we have the Air Max One. And then number one, the Nike Air Force One. Do you agree with that, by the way? Or did you think the Air Max goes above the... I 100% agree with this. Okay. It's funny because I was already thinking the Air, the Air Force One is at the top of my list. So let us know what you guys think down below in the comment comments. Comment down section. your list down below. Let us know where, you know, let us know what you There's think. There's no right or wrong answer. There's no right or wrong answer. This is just great debate. It's participation award. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. We out. I would never let you down. So before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Send my DJ, hey, man. Man. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today one of those. I would never let you down and send my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA